Every child who enters this planet of new consciousness is at different levels of it. The ones who are the highest level, that is to say the ones who are the most quantum, you have a name for. Autistic. They are savants. They have no linear barriers in their brain. They are ultimate uber conceptuals. And they have an incredibly different, difficult time with your linearity. The parents in here of an autistic child know that when you speak to them and they look at your voice, if they will even look in your eyes, they can't understand it. You can see their brain struggling to put the words in a row, to place them in their brains in a row. That's how you speak, that's the linearity you have, and they don't. And they struggle to linearize. You're going to discover how to work with the autistics eventually. And it's going to come with you becoming more conceptual giving them burst information that they can understand and it may take some technology that you have not seen. You go on down that scale of enlightened conceptual human beings that are being born now and you have then what I would call the most, the, the mode, the average. The children are coming in far, far less linear. And so that is to say they want discipline, they want understanding, and they want teaching in conceptual ways. They have scoped the energy of the puzzle and have the answers ready before you open the door. They know what they know long before you tell them what they should. In school, they're bored. They're bored. You cannot give them pablum when they see so much more the whole meal. Learn how to teach these children conceptually. Number one, give them the meal first. Give them the payoff right away and then find out what they want to know about it. It's backwards. You start by giving the facts leading up to the payoff. If you're going to teach algebra, you have to start with math. You have to start with the principles. You have to start with this and that. Why not start with algebra and ask them what they don't understand? <laughs> you see the point? Show them what's happened on the earth. Give them a synopsis of human history and ask them what they'd like to know about. There is a new way of teaching afoot. And it's exactly backwards than you think and the children are going to rise to the occasion and it will be a challenge, it will be exciting, it will be a puzzle. And you're going to have to work harder at it because each child is going to have a different path. There are schools operating in this way right now. Study them and see them and try to slowly implement these things where they're not being implemented.